Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how to make really easy and delicious pretzel dogs. Now, the big game is coming up this weekend, and if you're anything like me, where I just don't, I don't really watch football or baseball or any kind of sports really, I just go for the food. And I love a pretzel dog, I love a hot dog, and now that I can make it at home, it's like, 10 times better. Let me show you what goes into this because it's really easy, comes together in like 20 minutes and they are so good. We're taking a shortcut, but it works perfectly. And that shortcut is pizza dough. Buy a store bought or make it yourself, it doesn't matter, it will be delicious. You'll need hot dogs of your choice. I always like using premium beef, but you can use whatever hot dogs your heart desires. You'll need some coarse salt or pretzel salt, a bean egg, and you're also gonna need some baking soda and, and water, and you're gonna need a little bit of butter. Now what I have in this pot right here is some water with some baking soda up to a boil. I also have my oven preheated to 425, so we're gonna get started right away. I've got my pizza dough, right? And you just wanna make sure that you, you kind of coat it in flour because you don't wanna be too sticky because if it's too sticky, it kind of becomes a bit problematic. So I just kind of flatten it into like a rectangle because I wanna cut eight equal pieces out of this one piece so just trying to get it as even as you can but don't panic if it's not perfect because it's going to work out in the end don't you worry so here's what you do could not be easier i mean really you take a hot dog right you take your piece of pizza dough and you kind of wrap it around like so and you just pinch it in the very back so that it kind of stays right and you place it on an oiled uh, baking sheet. I mean, I've put a little bit of parchment paper just so that it makes it for easy cleanup, but add a little bit of oil so that nothing sticks. And I'm gonna continue to do the rest of them. And then if it's a bit too much dough, you can always just sort of pinch a piece off because you don't want it too doughy. And then I'll show you the next step. All right, now you take your hot dogs. You gotta just be really gentle because they go into the boiling water for about 20 to 30 seconds. I just do a couple at a time so that the water doesn't lose too much temperature, doesn't drop too much temperature. And then I'm gonna place them back on the same baking sheet. I'm just gonna continue to do that and then I'll show you the next step before they go into the oven. Get that baby out. Okay, now you take your egg, your beaten egg, and you wanna make sure that you brush this really well all over the top and the sides because that's what gives it that really beautiful, glossy, golden brown color. Last one. They look amazing. And then you just wanna sprinkle on a little coarse salt or pretzel salt, whichever you used. I got this really beautiful coarse Sicilian salt that I'm obsessed with and it's gonna be perfect on here. Now I'm using, and I always use all beef hot dogs. You can use veggie dogs, you can use pork, you can use whatever your heart desires. So by all means, make this your own. You can even use cheese dogs, and I wouldn't be mad at you because secretly, I'm obsessed. Okay, these go into the oven 425 for about 15 minutes. I like to bake them at the very center of the oven because I feel like it gets just the perfect amount of color on the top and bottom. I will show you what they look like when they are done. I'm so excited. <laughs> These look so magnificent, it's not even funny. They were in the oven for exactly 15 minutes and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna brush them a little bit. I literally have two tablespoons of melted butter in here. I'm probably not even gonna use all of it, but I really like a buttery pretzel. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but you're making a pretzel dog, so I'm pretty sure you can put a little bit of extra butter on top because it just makes them scrumptious. And like I said, if you want to use a cheese dog, call me up because I'm coming over because I love me a cheese dog. <laughs> it's unbelievable. These look so good. They're really hot though, and I'm just so nervous. I'm going to scorch my mouth, but oh, they're so gorgeous. So gorgeous. I'll risk. No, I won't. That is hot. Hold on. Give me a second. So hot. Ah. If you saw, if if they had this good of a corn dog at the stadium, it'd be worth going. Even though I don't watch sports. They're that good. 
that easy. They came together in like, what, 20 minutes? You can make them small if you want to, which would be so fabulous for a party. The one that I do not get invited to, but I'm not, I'm not angry about it. I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> Go to LaraInTheKitchen.com. Get this recipe. Let me know down below who you're rooting for. I think I'm supposed to root for the Eagles because it is the closest thing to me. So, yay. I, I'm going to go eat. I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks, guys. The recipe will be on LaraInTheKitchen.com, and I'll see you soon. Bye.